Hi, I'm Charlie from Ask Charlie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe and to ring the bell to be notified of my weekly videos. So it has got super chilly out there this week and my children have been thoroughly enjoying their hot water bottles so I thought I would chat to you a little bit more about them. So I bought these three from the Rare Brand Market last, last um, November. I was a stall holder and I met the lovely um, Jo's Vintage Cashmere there and she made these and I just thought they were too gorgeous um, and ours needed new hot water bottles, they were looking a bit raggedy. So mine really, really love snuggling up with hot water and if Simon and I go out and we have a babysitter, I've been quite surprised the amount of babysitters that haven't known how to fill up a hot water bottle properly so I thought um, I would film this and just chat through various bits and pieces about hot waters. So I'm going to show you this one. Um, it's actually got a hole on that side, if you can see, so I don't want to fill it up that way. I've got my Arg kettle here, which has boiled and I let it sit for five minutes before I put, put the water in. You don't want it straight from boiling. It's really important to just let it rest for a moment. So my kettle is ready and I pour the water in to my hot water. You don't need masses of water. And I think that is one of the biggest problems I've noticed is um, they've actually been filled right to the top, which actually can be quite dangerous. And it's also really important, oh, I've got my tea towel ready, to let any air out. So just push the air out so you can see the water at the top like so and then have a tea towel to just dry around the top of your hot water bottle and make sure that the lid is really secure and tight there's still a little bit more water in there so that is ready to go you can see it's not bulging the air has been squidged out and so that is good to go and I was chatting this morning with lovely, lovely Charlotte, who sometimes comes and helps me in the garden. We were clearing out the greenhouse together and we were talking hot water bottles. And I said I was gonna film this this morning and she said that a family tradition that they have is um, when they go up, they put um, their, her mother or she now, um, pops a hot water bottle in their pajamas or nighty. So this is actually Sleepy Cozy Nighty, which is Coco's. I used to run Sleepy Cozy with lovely Nina, um, and it's just a gorgeous children's nightwear brand. So I would put the hot water bottle from now on, and Charlotte's given me this gorgeous tip, inside like that, so it warms up. So when they get out of their bath, they have got warm pajamas or a nighty to get into. So I just thought that was gorgeous. Wanted to share that with you. Um, but I actually tend, I have been putting that hot water bottle in their bed ready to warm up, but now I shall, I shall do this because I think it's lovely. And actually Charlotte's just sent me a message to say that even when they were older, her, her mother would do that for them. So if they got, at, got back late um, and been out somewhere, they would still have snuggly pajamas, which I just think is really lovely. So these are the boys. But I also wanted to show you this one. So this is microwavable and it's lavender, so it smells gorgeous. And I just think that if you've got a tummy ache or a bad back or whatever, feeling under the weather, it's just really gorgeous to snuggle up with a hot water bottle. But you do have to be aware, don't put straight boiling water in and make sure, check your hot water bottle, check that the lid fits securely and you've properly screwed it on and check that the hot, the rubber of the hot water bottle hasn't perished or anything like that so you do you know have to be aware and be um you know use your common sense you know hot water and children can be really dangerous but i do think it is really lovely to snuggle up with a hot water particularly on a cold chilly night so i hope that you have enjoyed enjoyed that and i just think that this is gorgeous so thank you Shah, for sharing it with me